Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name is Anashi Sasuke, and welcome back to another Metroid 2 remake. Now, I want to start by saying I am aware of the fact that there is now a Nintendo-sanctioned remake of this game happening called Samus Returns. I've already pre-ordered the special edition of it. I also, uh, I did, well, I think it was looking the other way. I did see the interview that Kotaku did with the creator of this game, and he's also hype about it. Now, be that as it may, I'm still going to play this one because even with the official remake, I still don't really know this particular Metroid game very well. And this is a good way to get in touch with it. Obviously, the guy who made this knows it very well. Uh... How did I not notice the spooky music transition last time? Am I even going the right way? Hold on. Yeah. Right, I gotta go down. Get away! But... As, as I was saying, I have been meaning to play this game for a long time, both the original and this one. So, the fact that they're coming out with an official remake of it that I can play on my 3DS is fantastic to me because it's a portable remaster so that I can play the game without it being in weird black and white Game Boy brick graphics. Which is the same reason that I like this one, because it has great music, great detail, and it's not Game Boy brick graphics. Am I going the right way? I'm going a right way. Let's go to the save point. So even though so far my only, I, I don't know if gripe is the right word, Stand up. I'm just trying to remember how to... Okay. My, my only thing with this one... Yeah, there's a Metroid nearby. Is the fact that... You can only play this on your computer. I'm sure there are people who try playing it on their phones. There's probably people who are trying to make it better even. Because after that cease and desist happened, the creators stopped doing it. But that doesn't mean that fans would not try to mod it or anything. Unless they're super fans that don't want to ruin its vision. Whatever that may mean. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Or have or like I've done this before. Scanning environment. New log entry. Breeding grounds. This area spans a custom-built ecosystem that favors the growth of Metroids. The terrain itself is dangerous, tendrils growing along the ground. Uh growing good. <laughs> Growing along the ground release extremely corrosive chemicals. Opportunistic predators and scavengers can recognize this as an ideal feeding ground, taking advantage of injured or dead animals. The presence of at least one Metroid is expected when venturing in these habitats. The tendrils are determined to be of artificial origin. Syn synthesized through technologically advanced methods, they absorb nutrients from dead matter. Interesting. So that would mean that the vines here eh, get their nutrients from anything that was killed by a Metroid. Let's probably go this way first. Pretty sure there's a Metroid fight in here, because I've watched people play this game on YouTube, because I never thought I was going to be able to play it. Kind of like how uh, with Twilight Princess, I never thought I'd be able to play that, and I read about the thing into the- Oh, God! Anyway, never thought I was going to be able to play this game, but obviously I'm playing it right now. And I've seen some people being, like, like got a bone to pick with the fact that Nintendo made a remaster after this person made their own remake. Now, the guy who made it doesn't really seem to care that much, but some of his fans think the new game should be boycotted. I think that's ridiculous, but I have noticed some similarities between the two, which you would expect because... Yeah, I, I... Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Come on. 
Okay. It looks like it would be something. Is this something? But the similarities between the games that I've seen would make more sense because it's not so much that there's similarities between this game and Nintendo's remake as both games have similarities to the Metroid Prime series. Like the whole using the charge beam sucks up uh, surrounding items that you can pick up. And I don't think I have enough missiles for this. Root! Can you please go up or something, man? Okay, that's some health back. I'm really hurting on missiles, but that's all the Metroids that were in this area. Oh, something's happening. This is another thing uh, that they kept from what I saw from E3. They did keep the rumbling in the remaster Nintendo did, but the difference between the two is this game has a Xbox 360 controller at his disposal, so you feel the rumbling instead of the screen just spazzing out. I'm probably going to spend this whole episode making comparisons between the two. Not in a, this game is better because this game did this one, because the, the Nintendo remake's not even out yet, and there are some people who are thinking it's going to be bad because of the company that's making it, which is Mercury Steam that did the attempted reboot of Castlevania. And that's not really a good grounds to... Uh, what is that? Can I just leave? Now this, this here, because of the fact that I haven't really gotten very far in the owl, original Metroid 2 game, Ow. I have no idea if this is something that actually happens, or if this was done by the guy who was uh, remaking it himself. Oh god! I really just need to be able to leave. to die! Okay, so I'm clearly going the right way. But having not really gotten very far into the original Metroid 2 game, I have no idea if that was original or if that was put in by the creator of this game. And I've, I actually had someone say to me that... <laughs> someone actually said to me that the Nintendo version is just Metroid 2 with more things and that this one was original by the guy. Which is completely ridiculous because the guy did not make Metroid with his own two hands. He made a remake with Metroid assets that Nintendo owned, thus the cease and desist. But also, like I was saying, there are things in this game that I have no idea if he made himself or if the game already had them. To which just brings further... How could you call the official remake just Metroid 2 with more things? Because is this not also Metroid 2 with more things? 
And what's wrong with that? I'm down with Metroid 2 for more things, otherwise I wouldn't be playing this. I would be all, oh, it's not Nintendo, so it's not good. As long as it's a fun game, I don't care where it came from. And it is bogus that the cease and desist happened the way it did, but copyright laws. I don't understand copyright laws. I'm not a lawyer. But if they had not set shut this down, they might not have been able to release the new one or Metroid Prime 4 because they would have lost the copyright to Metroid. That's how it sounds anyway. Again, I don't really know. I'm not their lawyers. I'm not a lawyer. I don't do copyright law. I just play whatever whatever happens. What are all these? They look weird mining birds. Probably should have saved. Some of these things from when I was watching people play it on YouTube because I was just really, really interested in seeing how it looks. I'm not sure that some of these things were in here when I watched this on YouTube. Oh, scanning environment. Seven Metroids. Yeah, there's probably one in here. I probably shouldn't fight it yet because there's spikes and things, so I should probably go back and see if going the other way does a Metroid fight that makes the lava dip. Now, for all these... I don't know if I call them criticism, but for all these things I've been saying, I would probably not have said half this many things if I thought anybody gave a damn what I think. Uh... Oh! Hold up. Okay, that is really nice attention to detail. I don't know what that weird ripple on the screen was, but... Oh, yeah. Holy crap! Oh, that got me good. And that would be probably another comparison that I guess I can make. It would be a very presumptuous comparison, but I feel like the, uh, the official Nintendo remake is, well, excuse me, Mercury Steam remake isn't going to catch me like, quite like that. New logbook entry. The massive facility at the center of this reservoir filters and pumps water through enormous pipelines. These pipes come out of the complex and disappear into surrounding rocks, presumably to supply other buildings further down the cave system with clean water. Though abandoned, most of it remains functional. Robotic activity is detected inside. Okay. Now, a thing that I had noticed about the remake that, uh, that Nintendo was doing is... It seems to be taking some cues from both Other M and uh, Federation Force. Which I don't know whether or not I consider that a good thing or a bad thing. Because it seems to be it seems to be using the menu system of Federation Force, and it added melee to an extent. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, I like this music. Oh, I can just walk right through that. There's probably a Metroid in here. Let me just... What the hell's that? Do it again! I dare you. Ow. St stop it! Remember that I can aim down. There we go, a not broken save point. That's what I needed. So, from E3, I wasn't really able to hear very much of the, the trailer. I'll probably have to watch it again. 
I'll probably actually include it at the end of this video, and then Nintendo will get mad at me, but whatever. Um, because I, I don't know how the music for the remake sounds. Because there are some good Metroid remixes, and this music is actually on the website for another Metroid 2 remake, and I would recommend grabbing it. I know I should have grabbed it by now, because it's... I really like video game music, and I really like how this sounds. I had heard that they're getting the person who did the music for Super Metroid to do the music for the remake of of their remake, and to that I would say it wouldn't hurt them to use whoever did this music, and if this was all also done by the guy who made the game the good on him, because from what I heard, he... I see you. Yeah. Ow. Oh god, it can tackle. Okay, get the heels. Alright. Wait, wait, hey, hey, hey. There's gotta be a way to get that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, God. Um. Guess I'm just in the pipes then. Oh, jeez, what the hell is that? Probably needs Oh, okay, I can just out. Shoot it for real. But missiles will probably be quicker. Okay. I see you! Is there any more of them? Or these dudes. That. I like that. I also like that it only takes one missile to. Ooh. What's this? It's high jump. High jump. Okay, you can't heal on the chosen statues in this. down here. Something. I see you! Ooh, energy tank. Maybe I just go right up in there? So the more balls on the triggers. It's, it's been a, a couple of weeks since I last played this, so I'm a... Uh, aha! A little rusty. More missiles! I'm pretty sure that the spider ball is also in uh, Metroid Prime 2. Which I don't know if they did that right. Ow, high jump. I don't know if they did that because of uh, it also being a two like this was. Destroy all the birds. Ow. I don't have space jump, I keep forgetting. I got this. Alright. I'm not 
not sure how much of a difference the stop that how much of a difference having high jump will actually make but it I see y'all <laughs> so much anger. I probably need these missile upgrades, but screw you guys. Wait! Well, that doesn't really seem to serve any purpose. More missiles! Which apparently uh, increases the entire tank. Stop that. Get away from me! Get away! Freaking robot. Okay. I can do this. the best way to get that missile. I'm probably done making comparisons between the two games because I just don't know Metroid 2 well enough to keep doing that. I never I never beat the original one. Excuse me, the well yeah I never beat the original Metroid. I beat Zero Mission, I beat Infusion. But I'm just not really that well seasoned at it. I like the series. But that doesn't mean I'm really, like, well-versed in it. Where the hell am I going? That's okay, I'm supposed to be going up. Okay, he's dead. I think there's another one. Wait, what? Oh, all right. Still don't really know how to get that. But I guess I'll just loop to loop back around. Right, I probably gotta go back to the other area because there was some shaking. That. Weird spiky Metroid wannabe. More weird spiky Metroid wannabes. Damn you. Okay. Is there anything of interest up here? going the right way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the music changed to be spooky again. Save point is in the other direction. Destroy the weird spiky Metroid wannabe. So in addition to uh, them announcing a Metroid 2 remake and all of the drama that's followed that 
that announcement's weak, there's also going to be Metroid Prime 4, which I'm not 100% sure that I'm actually looking forward to. And it's not that I have anything against Metroid Prime, it's just I've never beaten them, any of them. I remember getting to the Ridley fight of the first one, and I don't know what happened after that. I, I know that I got to the Ridley fight, and I know that I was coming across Phazon. But I don't remember fighting the Metroid Prime. So it's just, it's entirely possible I just didn't get that far. I should probably, I'm probably supposed to go inside of that water, but I don't have the suit that allows for that yet. I also don't think I have the various suit. Well, the doors are all locked, so... That probably means something. That worked out. Uh, this is gonna work out a little bit less. Wow, rude. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a, uh, a morph ball thing. I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. Well, I can make that jump at least. So I definitely had to get the uh, high jump boots first. Well, in any case, there hasn't been anything said about Metro Prime 4 yet other than the fact that it exists. So I'm going to be trying to make my way through the other Prime games because of that. To see if I can beat them and then understand what's going on. And that includes Hunters and that includes Federation Force. So, in the meantime, this has been Anachi Sasuke. This was episode 2 of Let's Play Another Metroid 2 Remake. I'm going to keep playing this because I do want to experience this game other than watching it on YouTube. And then also be able to say that I've actually beaten the 2D Metroids. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Later.